All right, y'all. I'm back with another video. I'm a little disappointed because I had a video going for y'all. And for some reason, it just shut off. So. So, we're going to start over. Okay. This is going to be for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus. Okay, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I am the Empress. Happy to be here with y'all today. All right, don't forget to click the subscribe button to become a part of the notification game. Okay, so let's talk, guys. We got some jumpers. We're ready. Okay, we are ready. Now, I can, I'm going to explain a little bit of what was, what I was reading a few minutes ago before the video shut off me. I'm getting that some of y'all are carrying this emperor energy. Like you're carrying this energy of boldness, okay? I'm getting that a lot of you guys are taking risks and you're trying to build something. Like a lot of y'all are building your own business. You're working towards something, building something that is a dream of yours, okay? Something that you want to do. All right, so let's see what messages we get here. We got the page of fire. This is being outgoing, being creative, confident, okay? Some of y'all are definitely being original. Like, you're using your gifts, your talents. For sure, for sure. We got justice here. Some of y'all are trying to balance out a situation. And you want to do what's right. And you're standing up for your beliefs. We got the night of fire. You guys' energy, more fire. Being passionate, adventurous, restless. This is a sudden event that needs immediate action. And then we got the Ace of Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, so let's see. This very sweet, loving energy. Okay, and a new beginning. Why is Justice here? Eight of Air. See, some of you... Some of you uh, are in your head a lot, okay? Chariot is Cancer's energy. You may be in your head thinking about a Cancer or you are thinking about ways to progress, ways to move something forward, okay? I'm getting definitely like a lot of meditating, a lot of thinking, thinking about how to progress, thinking about how you're going to move forward. Okay. Some of y'all have closed chapters. Okay. It's old cycles are, you can tell all that old stuff goodbye. You're standing your ground. Okay. You're standing your ground. Why is the eight of air here? The emperor there. He is again, I'm telling you. Y'all are definitely carrying this emperor energy. For sure. For sure, for sure. Organized and being logical, structured and disciplined. Y'all are being leaders, okay? Five of Earth, okay? Someone here, you guys could be trying to come, trying to come out of a bad situation. Just point blank, period. Some of y'all may have lost jobs. Some of you guys may be... Um, feeling rejected or left out in the cold or have no other resources. We got fears surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, and uncertain about self-employment. Self and see, you're looking at all of your options, okay? You're trying to open up more opportunities here. And this is also like taking responsibility of a bad decision. The emperor, he's all about being you know, taking responsibility. This is the father card of the tarot. You may have to take responsibility that you made a bad decision um, as far as money, okay? Some of you need to save or find a way to save so your situation can, can shift, okay? Night of fire. There's that ego card. Somebody here got a big ego. Okay, somebody here's ego is really big. Um, for sure, for sure. I'm also getting that um, 
somebody's ego is big because they have uh, found a way to attain stability. After I feel like after a period of making bad decisions financially, I feel like you guys have come to a place where you are uh, becoming back stable. Check your ego at the door, okay? Check your ego at the door. Now don't get don't get to a place where you you're ready to just shit on people or you know talk bad or look down on the next person because you just came out of a fucked up situation. So check your egos at the door, okay? Y'all celebrate and do y'all, but but check your egos, okay? Now it looks like you guys were in, you know, um, were in a situation that you got you climbed yourselves yourselves out of, okay? And that's good that you guys are feeling dominant, feeling in control. That's good. But don't push that on to other people. Because what's going to happen is it's going to cause more harm than anything. You know how some people will get like, oh, they think that they all that just because y'all need to humble yourselves. That's what's going to be attractive if you let your ego lead. Okay. A lot of times we got to understand we got to keep our egos in check. Okay. Ace of Water. And the king of water. Ooh. Are y'all falling in love? <laughs> I feel like you've realized that <laughs> you can do something. You can move with great speed. You can do, you've you created solutions. Some of y'all are done, have walked away from these sleepless nights of worrying about how you're going to balance something, how something is going to work out. The moon and the three of earth. You guys have been working tirelessly. Like I'm getting like some of y'all stay up all night working, trying to build. Yeah, like I feel like you guys have accumulated some type of plan, get rich scheme or like a way to get up out of a bad situation. I'm getting self-made. Why is the king of water here? The high priestess. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces. Okay. But I'm getting like there's this new, new beginning in love. <laughs> Your intuition was telling you that some that this person was going to reach out to you and express their feelings, okay? We got the king of air and the king of earth, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, as well as the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, both very manly, uh, mature energies. Ooh, see all this money. We got the ten of fire ace of earth <laughs> you got some you, you you're coming into uh some money okay queen of fire you got some energy leo sagittarius aries i feel like you're going to be more giving you're going to be giving more because you have i feel like you're going to have stuff to spare like you're going to have something to spare all right Okay, let's see why this high priestess is here. Two of Earth. Okay, so you knew this was going to work out. You knew that this was going to work in your favor. This is juggling, okay? Ooh. <laughs> your intuition was telling you that somebody was juggling or your intuition was telling you that you was going to have to make a decision when it comes to love because we got the lovers here and the four of water 
Now, the four of water is when somebody has missed the opportunity or when somebody's feeling rejected or unloved. I feel like somebody here feels, feels unloved. Your intuition was possibly telling you that they were that this person was going to start feeling like that. And this causes, this rouse somebody up. It's like when this person doesn't feel love or cared for, this rouses this person up. Like it just amps them up. You feel, I feel like you knew that this person was going to come at you like that. You knew it. Like you just know, you know, but you, you feel like they're doing it out of love. You know, that makes you feel like they care. The world. In the night of air. This is fun to you. I feel like you have a lot of fun with that cycle. Okay? Like, this is a cycle that you may, you know, it was thrill. It was, just, it was a thrill. Some of y'all have third parties going on. There's that three again. But see, you need to balance your money, y'all. Some of you don't don't overspend. I feel like some of you guys are going to have to balance out your money. Okay. Or you're gonna go back into this energy of the sleepless nights and worried about how you're gonna do this, or how you're gonna do that. Okay. holiday holiday time a lot of people were worried about their finances and worried about money and we know that <laughs> so let's see what, what additional messages we got for my Sagittarius y'all got devil energy <laughs> see somebody is greedy uh, maybe there's two sources of income I feel like y'all are working oh y'all y'all are definitely working on more money okay why the devil Woo. this is really hot sexual energy some of y'all could be dealing with the capricorn or leo sagittarius aries but i'm getting lots of sex see then we got the lovers and the nine of pentacles some of y'all are pleasuring yourself <laughs> i'm just putting it out there doing a lot of that there's that emperor again. Somebody's ego is real fucked up right now. And I'm just going to put that out there. Somebody's ego is really big. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the Death card, Scorpio's energy. And the Seven of Wands. Three of Cups. Y'all just have y'all just living it up. <laughs> y'all just living it up. The Seven of Swords. The World. And the Ace of Swords as the outcome. Okay, I feel like y'all are spying. 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 Y'all are spying on someone or someone is spying on you. Okay, for some of you, this is someone could be trying to make you make you out for some for this is for the men because the devil and the emperor here could be someone's ego or this is also someone saying that someone could be like a bad father financial wise like this is money I'm getting like money the star. Someone here could be pregnant or there is definitely, be careful because there's just someone could pop up pregnant or there's just a lot of different females. The The father card and the mother card here, this could be a baby mother, baby father situation. There could be just lots of, you know, females. 
you're waiting to hear some good news or somebody's waiting to hear some good news. Uh, oh, wish come true. Okay, the nine of cups and the star. This is a wish fulfillment or a wish come true. Wish come true. What is the devil card here? Yeah, like you're battling something. Your ego, your lower self. Okay, there's this negative energy I'm getting, like a, a argument or disagreement with the female here. Yeah, two of swords and a knight of wands. This is saying not, not, not no going back and forth, not coming somewhere, not going somewhere. Yeah, the ten of swords is saying that. That's a definite, definite no. Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so someone here, this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Pentacles. Uh, there could be a water sign involved here that. I'm getting that there's this wake up call. Judgment Tower. There's this big wake up call. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Okay, so you've been giving, okay, you've been giving your money to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you've been giving this person money before because you care. Okay. Something about making plans later. Making plans later. Okay. So the death card here in the past energy. You've been keeping your distance, okay? We got the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting like someone here could be giving someone money for sex too. I'm just putting it out there. Someone's asking somebody to do like sexual favors, okay? And I'm getting that you're keeping your distance because you're actually, you were actually worried, okay? You were actually overthinking you're actually overthinking, like you can't sleep at night, regretting something that you said about some money. Okay, so maybe you told somebody that you were going to give them some money or someone said that they were going to give you some money. And like you were overly thinking about it. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, because see, future energy, it looks like you're going to get tired of all of this, of somebody coming at you like that coming at you like real aggressive but mm, you're gonna come out on top you getting all the attention you're getting all the shine yeah and seeing three of cups you got some admirers some followers okay people are going to be calling you people are going to be paying you for something pisces is energy but I'm getting a victory in finances, okay? So you're about to, you're getting a victory. You're getting a victory. I'm getting like somebody uh you're doing something in private okay you're closed off you're trying to keep something private the world and the nine of wands this is being closed off from the public and you want people to think that you don't have it or that you um you may want people just not to be in your business you don't want them to know what you got okay yeah because you feel like this these people don't want to see you progress anyway um ace of swords okay Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. This is finding out where someone lives or finding out um, the truth about somebody here. Okay? Love and money. Okay? Love and money. You're juggling. You're juggling the hell out of it. You're juggling the hell out of it. Yeah. See, you're trying to stay closed off. You got something going on. Okay? You're juggling. You're juggling. You're investing, and it's you made an investment, and it's going good. It's going well, okay? You're leaving something behind, and you want them to see it. <laughs> They're going to see the progress, okay? They'll see the progress later. But right now, y'all are, um, you know, working on a few things. Just don't let your ego 
get in the way, okay? I feel like y'all egos are... I feel like y'all egos are may get in the way, okay? Because that was just revealing itself too many times. So y'all need to check your egos at the door. Keep whatever y'all gonna keep private and keep it moving, okay? Don't let your egos get in the way. All right, so if you wanna book a personal, that information is in the drop box below, all right? And then you can check out the website. All of that information is in the drop box. All right, until next time, y'all. Ciao.